Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Karisma and I'm from Indonesia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can refactoring our code. So I have a simple Pokemon apps, but as you can see here, the code is quite messy because we put everything inside the screen like interface, the state, get the data and the component, and also the styles I put inside the screen. So how we can refactoring our code? Uh, we can separate for all of this. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna separate for all of this entity. So we're gonna create Pokemon.entity.ts and just copy all of this and then save it we have to export export yep all right after that we're gonna create custom hook we have like this use pokemon.ts we can copy all of this. We can, I think we can also cut off this, all of this, into use Pokemon. Export cons use Pokemon. And then paste right here. And then we can import the Pokemon entity. We can also import Axios, Axios Respond, and Pokemon Respond. Also, we have to import use effect. Yep, correct. So inside the this one, we can just return color black selected Pokemon. Uh, list Pokemon and for this function yep uh, I think this one also we can all right so how we implement on the main screen we can just simply cons import use Pokemon and then pull all of this yep I think that's it for now uh, okay so yeah we can delete this and this because we already put inside the Pokemon Ah uh, no, I think for uh yep. Uh did I this one and this one we can import from this. You can just ignore for the dependency list because we don't need to put this function. We can just disable. Ah uh, sorry. We can just disable this just as little. Yep. So what we gonna do after this so we can put this one into the separate file as, as well we're gonna create style .ts and then just export cons And then we can just import it right here. And then remove this. All right. Yeah, I think this one is already make it our component cleaner because as you can see before that, there is uh, like more than 100 lines. Now we only have like uh, 50, 
five lines is quite uh, a big change so but there is still error but this one is just error linter so this method is custom hook uh, so you can separate your everything inside your hooks and then make your co uh, component is more cleaner yeah it's just a simple thing right so the question is how we can add parameter inside this for example if i want to add this function cons show console and then console log testing because test there is right there we can just put right here string and then export it and we can just call right here just like a simple so console and then yeah we can just for example i want to add this button text console test on press test can can back to our apps and then try to refresh it press test and yeah it's working for now and then how we can add parameter for example if i want to add parameter inside this one i want to add like uh id1 or something like that we can just simple like this for example hello world string and then put like this console hello world because we need to put that so we can just back to our use pokemon and then add hello world is hello world so back to our component and just refresh yep there is a test and hello world so this one is the way you can add a parameter you can add everything like function boolean string or number or everything based on the parameter that we add inside the use pokemon right here yeah i think that's it for now uh you can implement for everything i think we can also put the style inside the hook like this uh use style ts and then we can just export cons use style and then we can just copy all of this and then uh const const styles use memo and then we can copy all of this return this one and then we can just return styles right there because we want to add as black parameter we can just back to our this one is black is boolean uh, I think we can just color black and then we can just add right this title uh, cut this one where is the title yep this one color and then we can add into the dependency list Yep, we can remove this one and cons use style color black is color black 
and just import styles. Uh, we find an error. Uh, I think we get wrong from on these styles. We can make it. Uh, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, we get wrong on this one. We can remove all this, and then we can this one. Uh, put a uh, style sheet dot create and then just paste from all this one yep and Oh yeah, I forgot to add color is black, uh, color black or red. Yep, we can paste and then, yep, as you can see here, it's more cleaner. Now we're gonna test our apps and then try to refresh. It's working as fine. And we, if we click Pokemon, it will show this one. And then if we press console of test, it will show the test and hello world. Yeah, that's the way, one of the many way to make our component more cleaner. We can also put uh, for the header, like create component for the header and for the footer component like this. We can separate for everything. So yeah, I think that's it for now. If you have any question regarding this, you can comment below or you can reach me on in my email i will pet i will put my email inside description so yeah thanks for everything so goodbye